Hi, it's Michael here from digitalhomebrew.com and I just wanted to introduce you to our new digital stir plate that we've just released for sale. The digital stir plate is a magnetic stirrer and it's a really unique design that's designed especially for brewers and growing yeast starters. When you're growing a yeast starter, you're trying to build a yeast colony that's large enough for the correct pitching rate for the beer that you're trying to brew. And changing your pitching rate is something that can also affect your beer and make your batches less consistent. So growing your starters under more controlled conditions should help iron out some of these variables and that's where the digital stir plate really shines. The digital stir plate is different to traditional analog stir plates um, in that on an analog stir plate you'll dial up a number on the knob on the front panel and it will spin at a speed that's roughly proportional to the number that you've selected on the dial whereas the digital stir plate is different. It has two buttons uh, which are used to increase or decrease the speed in set amounts of 100 RPM and just like the cruise control on your car there's a computer inside that's going to monitor the actual stirring speed and control the power to the motor to keep it spinning at the speed that you've selected. And this is called active feedback. And what it means is in the end that you don't have to worry about um, the changing vis viscosity as your cell counts grow or any other environmental factors that may cause your stirrer to stall or speed up throughout um, fermentation and throw the stir bar or anything like that. But what's more important is that it's easy to repeat the same stirring conditions between batches. So say you've brewed a starter by stirring at 800 RPM and the beer turned out great and next time you want to brew that beer and make a similar starter, you can easily dial up that same RPM as your previous batch with just, you know, clicking the up button eight times. Now this offers you more repeatability with your starters and helps to control variables like aeration or, um, you know, uh, stress, perhaps uh, even cell destruction throughout the starter's growth phase and hopefully this will result in a more consistent pitching rate and of course that helps you brew more consistent beer. And then you can focus your time on the obvious variables like your recipe. With the provided 30 millimeter stir bars, uh, the digital stir plate is a very versatile unit. Many brewers like to build their starters up from single cell cultures and make lots of small steps or um, um, maybe even divvy up your smack packs to save on money and um, you'll make a small starter and then another larger starter, you know, final starter later on. And while efficiency isn't such a concern for your smaller starters, I just wanted to demonstrate that the digital stir plate is quite capable of stirring even small starters under 100 mils. Uh, so what we've got here is a 200 mil Erlenmeyer flask and... Um, just our normal 30 millimeter stir bar there. And if I set up the speed to, you know, 100, 200, 300 RPM, um, you know, it, it'll it stir it quite well, um, quite effectively. It's not gonna be too big for it or anything like that. But also, this is where the digital stir plate really shines because it's got a lot of um, fine control at these lower RPMs as well. Now, getting to the other end of the scale, the digital stir plate is also able to effectively stir two liter, three liter, and even five liter flasks, though it, Five liters, the stir plate is positively dwarfed by the flask, it's still able to get a decent vortex going in there, um, which shows that for such a small package, it's still punching above its weight. Now, there's no reason the digital stir plate is just for brewers. See, at the end of the day, the extra controllability could have a myriad of applications in controlled scientific experiments. Um, in fact, I have a few experiments I'd like to carry out myself in the near future, and I'll be putting them up on YouTube as well. So if you do use our stir plates in a lab environment, you know, send us a line and we'd love to hear how it's working out for you. Finally, although the digital stir plate has some awesome technical wizardry going on under the cover, and even though it's designed and assembled right here in Australia, I believe you'll still find that our digital stir plate is priced at or below any of the comparable competing products out there. Uh, even the imported stuff from China, and we're really proud of this. So um, you're getting a quality, professional, Australian-made stir plate uh, from real people offering a real warranty. Like if anything goes wrong, we really want to know about it and we want to help you out to fix the issue. And that's all for $79. And uh, what you get in the package is, of course, the digital stir plate, um, either an Australian or US plug pack, depending on where you're buying from, um, or let us know if you'd like the other type for some reason when you check out. And of course, uh, two 30 millimeter stir bars, which is really useful, obviously, in case you lose one of them, but also um, for before you pour your starter into your fermenter, um, it's good if you can take out that bar um, using the magnetic attraction from your second stir bar. And that way you don't risk pouring your stir bar into your fermenter and then losing it for the next few weeks.
So guys, if you're interested in brewing better beer, or if you're interested in growing more consistent starters, or if you've got another use for a quality magnet stirrer and can't believe the prices some people are asking, even for junk, just head on over to www.digitalhomebrew.com, pick up your own digital stir plate, hopefully before we sell out again.